Is mysterious Planet Nine tugging on NASA's Saturn probe? When we're talking about Planet Nine, we could be calling it Planet X, Nibiru, Nemesis, Wormwood, whatever you want to call it, it goes by various names. Something that comes around every so often and is outside our solar system. The hunt is on to find Planet Nine, a large undiscovered world. It could be anywhere from 10 to 20 to 50 times as massive as Earth four times its size. Scientists think it could be lurking in the outer solar system. After Konstantin Batigan and Mike Brown, two planetary scientists from the California Institute of Technology, Caltech, presented evidence for its existence. There, uh, and other teams have searched for further proof, analyzing archived images and proposing new observations to find it with the world's largest telescopes. Recently, evidence from the Cassini spacecraft orbiting Saturn helped close in on this missing planet. Many experts suspect that within as little as a few years, someone will spot the unseen world, which would be a monumental discovery that changes the way we view our solar system and our place in the cosmos. Quote, evidence is mounting that something unusual is out there. There's a story that's hard to explain with just a standard picture, end quote, says David Gerdes. He's a cosmologist at the University of Michigan who never expected to find himself working on Planet Nine. He's just one of many scientists who leap at the chance to prove or disprove the team's careful calculations. Batigan and Brown made the case for Planet Nine's existence based on its gravitational effect on several Kuiper Belt objects. These are icy bodies that circle the sun beyond Neptune's orbit. Theoretically, though, its gravity should also tug slightly on our planets and the moons and even any orbiting spacecraft. So with this in mind, Agnès Fienga at the Côte d'Azur Observatory in France and her colleagues checked whether a theoretical model, one that they have been perfecting for over a decade, with a new addition of Planet Nine could better explain slight perturbations seen in Cassini's orbit. And without it, the eight planets in our solar system, 200 asteroids and five of the most massive Kuiper Belt objects cannot perfectly account for this. The missing puzzle piece might just be Planet Nine. And we have here the image uh, describing researchers claim that this huge planet, 10 times the mass of Earth, probably exists in the frozen Kuiper Belt, regions of our outer solar system, and the planet has not yet been located or photographed. Now, uh, Earth could be, for example, mass 1. Planet 9 would be 10 times bigger. And between uh, length of years, between 10,000 to 20,000. Neptune is 17 times bigger than Earth, and Uranus is 14 and a half times bigger than Earth. Now, the evidence for the claim is that six of the most distant known Kuiper Belt objects, KBOs, have orbits that line up in a way that would only happen if the gravity of a massive unknown planet were pulling on them. So the recent predictions that Planet Nine's gravity would cause another set of Kuiper Belt objects to be forced into orbits perpendicular to Planet Nine's. Five objects have already been discovered that fit this condition precisely. The source is Caltech. Now, researchers say that an anomaly in the orbits of the distant Kuiper Belt objects points to the existence of an unknown planet orbiting our Sun. Now, Fuega and her colleagues compared the updated model, which placed Planet Nine at various points in its hypothetical orbit with the data. They found a sweet spot with Planet Nine 600 astronomical units that's about 90 billion kilometers away towards the constellation Cetus. That can explain Cassini's orbit as well. Although Fienga has, is not yet convinced that she's found the culprit for the probe's odd movements, most outside experts are blown away. Quote, it's a brilliant analysis, end quote. That's what Greg Lawlin said. He's an astronomer at Lick Observatory who was not involved in the study. He says, it's completely amazing that they were able to do that so quickly. 
that's a beautiful paper. Now the good news does not end here. If Planet 9 is located towards the constellation Cetus, then it could be picked up by the Dark Energy Survey. It's a southern hemisphere observation project designed to probe the acceleration of our universe. Quote, it turns out fortuitously that the favored region from Cassini is smack dab in the middle of our survey footprint, end quote, says Gerdes, who is working on the cosmology survey. Quote, we could not have des designed our survey any better, end quote. Although the survey was not planned to search for solar system objects, Gerdes has discovered some, including one of the icy objects that led Batigan and Brown to conclude Planet 9 exists in the first place. Lawlin thinks this survey has the best immediate chance of success. He's also excited by the fact that Planet 9 could be so close. Although 600 AUs is roughly 15 times the average distance to Pluto, it does sound far. Planet 9 could theoretically hide as far away as 1,200 AUs. Quote, that makes it twice as easy to get to and twice as soon, Lawlin says, and not just twice as bright, but 16 times as bright. And the dark energy survey is not the only chance to catch the faint world. It should be possible to look for the millimeter wavelength light the planet radiates from its own internal heat. Such a search was proposed by Nicholas Cohen, an exoplanet astronomer at McGill University, Montreal, Canada, who thinks that Planet 9, 9 might show up in surveys of the cosmic microwave background, CMB, the pervasive afterglow of the Big Bang. CMB experiments have historically used solar system giant planets to calibrate their instruments, so we know that current and planned CMB experiments are sensitive enough to measure the flux from Planet 9 if it's as bright as we think it is, Cohen says. Although cosmologists have started to comb through data from existing experiments, and astronomers with many different specialities have also joined in on the search, quote, I love that we can take this four meter telescope and find a rock 100 kilometers in diameter that is a billion kilometers past Neptune with the same instrument that we're using to do extra galactic stuff and understand the acceleration of the universe, Gerdes says. In the meantime, Batigan and Brown of Caltech are proposing a dedicated survey of their own. In a recent study, they searched through various sky maps to determine where Planet Nine cannot be. Quote, we dumpstered, divided, dived into the existing observational data to search for Planet Nine, and because we did not find it, we were able to rule out parts of the orbit, Batigan said. The zone where the planet makes its farthest swing from the sun, as well as a small slice of sky where Fienga thinks the planet could be now, for example, have not been canvassed by previous observations. To search the unmapped zones, Batigan and Brown have asked for roughly 20 observa observing nights on the Subaru telescope in Mauna Kea in Hawaii. Quote, it's a pretty big request compared to what other people generally get on the telescope, Brown says. So we'll see if they bite. If they do, Brown is convinced he'll have his planet within a year. Quote, I really want to see what it looks like, Batigan says, who adds that his aspiration drives him to search for the unseen world. But Lawlin takes it a step further. He says, I think the discovery would prove, provide amazing inspiration for the next stage of planetary exploration, he said. We now have another opportunity to see one of the worlds of our own solar system for the first time. If Planet Nine isn't out there, we won't have that experience again. This article was first published by Scientific American, and uh, it's on bedded reality. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. 
So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.